Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video, there is no way back. This is a special message for everyone who may find yourself being lost in the past. You know, we all did something wrong in the past and one of the biggest reasons that we may find ourselves being miserable, worrying about how things will go and what will happen and, and what prevents us from developing the capacity to manifest the greatest possible lives is that we are so easily lost in our past and we may start to wish like i hope i could do things differently back then but you know there's no point in wishing you had done it differently you've done it to the best of your knowledge and this is your message for you right now for you right now in this moment because all we have is this moment and we're all running in circles right and each moment we can decide to to upgrade our point of awareness our point of consciousness so we can shift the cycle right so we can move it from this linear circle to the upward spiral right everything is circling everything is spinning but we can decide to go from running in circles to start moving in upward spiral. And that is a huge shift. And in order to make that shift, you need to remind yourself that there's no point in wishing that you had done anything differently in the past. Because you've done it to the best of your knowledge. If you would know better, you would do it better, right? If you would know better, you would do it better. So the best thing you can do is to let go. Let go of the need. Like, um, I, the, the need for worry. Like, oh, I hope I would do it differently. So, my friends, <laughs> the future will give you a new opportunity to try. And what you can do is learn the lesson. Learn the lesson that life brought to you. Everything happened so you can learn. And you know that. And sometimes a big problem is just to let go of um, something we are used to do. We are used to worrying. We are actually deeply programmed to worry because that's what we've seen when we were growing up. While we were growing up, we've seen our parents worrying all the time. We've seen people around us worrying all the time. Then we've started hanging with friends and they were worrying all the time. And suddenly we've started worrying about everything all the time. But every time when we dive deeper into a worry, we recognize we can only worry about something that happened and because we don't want it to happen again, we start predicting it. What if it will repeat? And again, we find reasons to worry. So the quality of worry is based in the quality of our knowledge we have about life, right? The knowledge of life, the knowledge of what life has to offer. And to expand that knowledge means that you learn something new, right? You learn something new about life. And then a good question is who is teaching us anything about life. Who's teaching us anything about life? You turn on a TV and you may find some news, you may find some movies, some, maybe some documentaries, and all may be interesting and a great entertainment. But have you learned something new about how to improve your life? How to feel more alive? How to live healthier? How to be more vibrant? how to be more in alignment with yourself, how to take care of your intentions, of your core values, how to let go or heal emotional wounds. Where do we find that knowledge? Because it seems like nobody's teaching us that. So we need to find our own way in studying life, right? And that's actually the truth. Everything brought you to where you are right now so you would learn how to become all that you can be and in order to learn how to become all that you can be you need to learn something that you don't know right now right so it means that you need to become your own guide you need to start listening to your own guidance 
and that's how you will get to know the right teachers. You know that saying that says that when the student is ready, the teacher will come? This is the time right now in the world where students needs to be, need to be ready so the right teachers will come. And many of you have already found that out because you've come across some great teachers and you've learned some great insights and knowledge and anything you needed to know so you know how it works. But still for many people it's a beginning, it's something new, it's something unexplored yet. So I want to remind you that you are exactly where you need to be. And it's not always an easy journey because many people around you may start looking at you like um, you're doing something differently, like there must be something wrong with you. And you need to understand that uh, this is your path, this is your journey. And when people are programmed to be like everybody else, it's hard for those people to comprehend what it feels like when you start to work on being yourself, right? It's hard to understand that. So you need to know that um, it is a weird thing for many people, but focus on yourself. Focus on being yourself and in tune with what's calling you right now, because there's an inner fire within you. Something I always say to you, there's an inner fire calling you. And that's where we say yes to life. That's where we say yes to what's about to unfold. Have you ever experienced, like, you had no idea what kind of books to read, but you felt called to learn something new, and suddenly just the right book appeared in your life. Maybe a friend of yours gave it to you, maybe you've came across a video on YouTube maybe and somebody recommended a book and you bought it, you read it and it was really incredible. That's how life works. We just need an intention, we need to have a pure heart and we need to follow the signs because signs are always present. What are the signs? You know what are the signs. Signs are those gentle sensations we experience in our bodies like go and do that like start that project buy that book call that person right those are signs then we have external signs when you just hear a music that gives you a sense of meaning that brings a message into your life those are all signs listen and follow to the science and you will find yourself flowing in that river of life. That's how life works. We just need to get into that river of life. That's something we've been talking yesterday about. So you need to understand that the universe always has your back. It always has your back. And you just need to develop that trust that that's real. Because I can say that to you, but nothing will change, right? You've experienced that before. So it's not about me saying that to you. I already know that for myself. But when you learn that for yourself, you can look into your past. You see, you are used to worrying. You're looking into your past to find reasons to worry. But look into your past to find reasons why you should trust life. See how often something happened that um, it only came true because you've trusted the process. Like you went on vacation and you had no idea what kind of uh, journey will be, but it just worked well. Everything just worked well, right? You've trusted the journey or you've met a new person and you had no idea who is that person? And you've trusted that person, and that person became your best friend. There's many different things, or maybe it can be something with your job or with a certain project. Like for me, the, it's this YouTube channel. I was just trusting. I, I had a feeling like this is what I need to do. But you know, when things are not growing, all you can do is to trust and keep up and keep improving your skill. And even to, for improving your skill, you need to trust into the possibility of improvement, right? 
Ask yourself how many skills you've developed in your life. You've only developed the skills because you've trusted into yourself that there is a capacity within you that allows you to develop the skills. That's trust. When you look into your future, you see nothing else but potentials, right? And the question is what kind of potentials will you choose? The familiar ones or the exciting ones? The ones that um, awaken that fire within you? You know, as I mentioned before, when we look on life, the question is knowledge. It's always about knowledge, how much we know about life. So I love study life. I love to study anything related to life. I go outside into nature and I study it. I observe it. I study the laws of nature and anything I can find that sparks that interest within my heart. So think about your life. Think about what is calling you right now and study that. That's the future, my friends. You will go from worrying to learning, from learning to growing, from growing to trying, from trying to experiencing, from experiencing to being, from being to... <laughs> we'll see, right? We'll see where it will lead you. But I know that um, there's something incredible on that other side. So my friends, this is it for today. I'm sending you all lots of love, blessings and power. I hope you've enjoyed in today's message. Until next time, one love.